The U.S. Navy is the world's largest and most powerful naval force, with a fleet of aircraft carriers that can project air power and influence across the globe. However, the U.S. Navy is also facing new challenges and threats from potential adversaries, such as China and Russia, who are developing their own aircraft carriers and stealth fighters to maintain its edge and superiority in the contested and complex maritime environment of the 21st century. The U.S. Navy is developing a new stealth fighter jet as part of its next-generation air dominance NGAD program. The new fighter jet, known as F-AXX, will replace the F-A-18E-F Super Hornet in the 2030S and will be compatible with both conventional and nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. The F-AXX will also be the centerpiece of a family of systems that will include other manned and unmanned platforms. In this video, we will explore the U.S. Navy's current and future aircraft carriers and stealth fighters, their capabilities and challenges, and their implications for naval aviation. Aviation and warfare. The U.S. Navy is developing a new stealth fighter jet as part of its Next Generation Air Dominance (NGAD) program. The new fighter jet is known as the F/AXX, and it is expected to replace the F/A18E/F Super Hornet in the 2030s. The F-AXX will likely be a sixth-generation fighter that will have advanced capabilities such as stealth, networked sensors, artificial intelligence, and optionally manned or unmanned operations. The F-AXX will also be compatible with both conventional and nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. The U.S. Navy has requested nearly $1.53 billion to develop the F-AXX in its fiscal year 2024 budget proposal. The Navy has not revealed many details details about the F-AXX, but it has said that it will be the centerpiece of a family of systems that will include other manned and unmanned platforms. The F-AX will act as the quarterback for future carrier operations, coordinating with other assets and providing air dominance. The U.S. Navy has not yet selected a contractor to build the F-AXX, but three major defense companies have entered the competition, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman. Each company has its own strengths and weaknesses in developing a new stealth fighter jet for the Navy. Lockheed Martin has the most experience building fifth-generation fighters such as the F-22 and the F-35, but it may face competition concerns from the Pentagon and the Navy. Boeing is the current manufacturer of the Super Hornet, which gives it an advantage in understanding the Navy's requirements and carrier operations, but it has not built a stealth fighter before. Northrop Grumman has a history of building stealth aircraft, such as the B-2 bomber and the X-47B drone, but it has not built a fighter jet since the F-14 Tomcat. The U.S. Navy's NGAD program is separate from the U.S. Air Force's NGAD program, which has already produced a prototype of a new stealth fighter that flew in 2020. The Air Force's NGAD fighter is expected to to complement or replace the F-22 and the F-35 in the future. The two services have different requirements and challenges for their next generation fighters, such as carrier suitability, range, payload, and survivability. However, they may also share some common technologies and features such as open architecture, digital engineering, and modular design. The U.S. Navy's F-AXX stealth fighter jet is still in its early stages of development, but it promises to be a game-changer for naval aviation and warfare in the coming decades. The F-AXX will face many technical, operational, and budgetary challenges before it becomes operational, but it will also offer many opportunities for innovation and collaboration with other platforms and allies. The F-AXX will be a key element of the U.S. Navy's strategy to maintain its edge in the contested and complex maritime environment of the 21st century. You seem to be interested in the U.S. Navy's current and future aircraft carriers and stealth fighters. I have searched the web for some relevant information and facts that might help you learn more about this topic. The U.S. Navy and the U.S. Marine Corps USMC, operate two types of aircraft carriers, nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, CVN, and amphibious assault ships, LHA and LHD. The CVNs are also known as super carriers because they are the largest and most powerful warships in the world. They can carry up to 90 
aircraft, including fixed wing and rotary wing aircraft, and have a crew of about 5,000 personnel. The LHAs and LHDs are smaller and more versatile than the CVNs. They can carry up to 20 aircraft, mainly helicopters and vertical short takeoff and landing, VS Toll aircraft, and have a crew of about 1,000 personnel. The LHAs and LHDs are also capable of launching and landing amphibious vehicles and troops, making them ideal for expeditionary warfare. The U.S. Navy and the USMC currently operate two types of stealth fighters, the F-35B Lightning II and the F-35C Lightning II. The F-35B is a V-Stole variant of the F-35 that can take off and land vertically or on short runways. The F-35B is operated by both the USMC and the U.S. Navy from LHAs and LHDs. The F-35C is a carrier-based variant of the F-35 that can take off and land using catapults and arresting wires. The F-35C is operated by the U.S. Navy from CVNs. Both variants of the F-35 are fifth-generation fighters that have advanced features such as stealth, supersonic speed, sensor fusion, and networked warfare. As of 2023, the U.S. Navy had 11 CVNs in service with two more under construction. The U.S. Navy plans to retire some of its older CVNs, such as the USS Nimitz and the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower in the next decade and replace them with newer ones, such as the USS Gerald R. Ford and the USS John F. Kennedy. The U.S. Navy also has eight LHAs and eight LHDs in service, with two more under construction. The U.S. Navy plans to upgrade some of its older LHAs and LHDs, such as the USS Wasp and the USS America, with improved capabilities for operating F-35Bs. By the end of 2023, there will be about six LHAs and LHDs operational with F-35Bs and about three CVNs operational with F-35Cs. The rest of the U.S. carriers will be converted to F-35S between 2023 and 2028 or so. The U.S. F-35 carriers also team with carriers from the U.K., Italy, and Japan, whose aircraft carriers are also flying or will soon be flying F-35Bs. The U.K. has two new aircraft carriers, the HMS Queen Elizabeth and the HMS Prince of Wales, that can operate up to 36 F-35Bs each. Italy has one aircraft aircraft carrier, the ITS Cavour, that can operate up to 15 F-35Bs. Japan has two helicopter destroyers, the JS Izumo and the JS Kaga, that are being modified to operate up to 28 F-35Bs each. China currently has two combat-ready aircraft carriers, the Liaoning and Shandong, with the third, the Fujian, being fitted out. The Liaoning and Shandong are conventionally powered aircraft carriers that can carry up to 24 J-15 fighter jets each. The Fujian is a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier that can carry up to 36 J-15 fighter jets and has three electromagnetic catapults on its deck. China plans to have five or six aircraft carriers by the 2030S. China's aircraft carriers are part of its naval ambitions to project power and influence in the region and beyond. China's aircraft carriers often conduct drills and exercises near Taiwan, Japan, and other countries that have disputes with China over territorial and maritime issues. The J-15 fighter jet is a Chinese all-weather twin jet carrier-based fourth-generation multi-role fighter aircraft developed by the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation and the 601 Institute, specifically for the People's Liberation Army Naval Air Force PLANAF to serve on the People's Liberation Army Navy's aircraft carriers. The J-15 is also known as the Flying Shark and has the NATO reporting name Flanker X-21. The J-15 is modeled after the Soviet-made Su-33 jet, which China acquired an unfinished prototype prototype of from Ukraine and reverse engineered. The J-15 has the same basic airframe design as the Su-33, but it also features indigenous Chinese technologies and avionics from the Shenyang J-11B program. The J-15 can take off and land using catapults and arresting wires on conventional and nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. The J-15 is equipped with a radar, an infrared search and track system, a data link, and a helmet-mounted sight. It can carry various air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, rockets, bombs, and a 30mm cannon. It has a maximum speed of Mach 2.4, a combat radius of 1,200 kilometers, and a service ceiling of 20 kilometers. The J-15 entered service with the Plan F in 2014 and is currently the main fighter aircraft on China's two combat-ready aircraft carriers, the Liaoning and 
and Shandong. China is also developing a third aircraft carrier, the Fujian, which will be able to operate more J-15S than the previous two carriers. China plans to have five or six aircraft carriers by the 2030S. The J-15 is considered one of China's best fighter jets, but it also has some limitations and drawbacks. It is heavier and less agile than the Su-33 due to its increased weight and reduced thrust. It also has a limited payload and range compared to other carrier-based fighters such as the USF slash A-18E slash F Super Hornet or F-35C Lightning II. It has suffered from several accidents and crashes that have resulted in fatalities. China is reportedly developing a new stealth fighter jet as part of its next generation air dominance NGAD program to replace the J-15 in the future. Hmm. It appears that America will face new competition from China on a regular basis. We hope you enjoy this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. See you next time.